We're almost there. Today in our Lent series of readings, we are looking at Mark chapter 11, where Jesus rides into Jerusalem and is proclaimed king. This happens on Palm Sunday, the week before Easter. Uh, let's read it. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethpage and Bethany, at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and just as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, Why are you doing this? Say, The Lord needs it, and will send it back here shortly. They went and found a colt outside in the street, tied at a doorway. As they untied it, some people standing there asked, what are you doing untying that colt? They answered as Jesus had told them to, and the people let them go. When they brought the colt to Jesus, they threw their cloaks over it. He sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, while others spread branches they had cut in the fields. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Jesus entered Jerusalem and went into the temple courts. He looked around at everything, but since it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. The next day, as they were leaving Bethany, Jesus was hungry. Seeing in the distance a fig tree in leaf, he went out to find out if it had any fruit. And when he reached it, he found nothing but leaves, because it was not the season for figs. Then he said to the tree, May no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples heard him say it. On reaching Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temple courts and began driving out those who were buying and selling there. He overturned tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves and would not allow anyone to carry merchandise through the temple courts. And as he taught them, he said, Is it not written, My house will be called a house of prayer for all nations? but you have made it a den of robbers. The chief priests and teachers of the law heard this and began looking for a way to kill him, for they feared him, because the whole crowd was amazed at his teaching. When evening came, Jesus and his disciples went out of the city. In the morning, as they went along, they saw the fig tree withered from the roots. Peter remembered and said to Jesus, Rabbi, look, the fig tree you cursed has withered. Have faith in God, Jesus answered. Truly I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, Go, throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in their heart, but believes that what they say will happen, it will be done for them. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have already received it, and it will be yours. And when you start stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. They arrived again in Jerusalem, and while Jesus was walking in the temple courts, the chief priests, the teachers of the law, and the elders came to him. By what authority are you doing these things, they asked, and who gave you authority to do this? Jesus replied, I will ask you one question. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I am doing these things. John's baptism, was it from heaven or of human origin? Tell me. They discussed it amongst themselves and said, If we say from heaven, he will ask, then why didn't you believe him? But if we say of human origin, they feared the people, for everyone held that John was really a prophet. So they answered, We don't know. Jesus said, Neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. Let's pray. Father, we come to a passage where Jesus enters um, as king, there are those who recognize it and worship. But then there are those who don't seem to get it at all. Uh, we see those in the temple who have made a relationship with you into a business, yet you call us into a relationship. Um, you have demonstrated your power and your authority, and uh, you invite us to come and follow you and to be obedient to your word. We pray with, that we would not be like the Pharisees or chief priests or elders who question and wonder and doubt, 
but in fact that we would come to you as king and worship you with our whole life. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.